Alhamdulillah, you know, this is a, a blessed occasion, it's a blessed moment, it's a blessed a time in your life, Alhamdulillah, and the the one's conversion to Islam, uh, I, I, I believe this outward manifestation of a conversion to Islam is only for an outward manifestation of what already exists inside of your heart between yourself and God. And... Um, that's what that's what we are here for, and that's what we will do. That in of itself is very simple. We'll just recite the the um, proclamation of faith three times, um, and then there's a few things that I'll ask you prior to that. But what I would just say is that, you know, is there? Would you like to share anything of your story? Would you like to share anything of your uh, of your journey to Islam? Um, we are you are welcome to to have an opportunity to do that as well. Um, I guess I, uh, um, it started last year during Ramadan and, um, the, it happened so fast. I didn't even realize it, but I was just talking to a couple of my friends who are actually, um, Muslim and they were talking about like Ramadan and how it was going to start the next day. And they were going to fast, and I was so curious. I just I kept on asking them questions, and then at the end of that conversation, I told them, "Oh, I want to fast with you guys." And they're like, "Are you sure?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I, I really want to fast." And I, because um, I had spent some time talking to them before that, and I didn't, I still didn't know. Um, but um, I was telling the brother and sister earlier that um, when the next day happened and it was the first day of Ramadan, like I woke up before Fajr and I was super excited. And um, like the the whole thing was very, you made it very easy for me. And during that whole time, um, I like down downloaded the Quran and I was listening to it and I found myself like losing myself with time and um and you know 30 minutes turned into like six hours and um you know all the heartache that I had or all the confusions in life um I found it very easy talking to Allah like in the mornings and he just made it so many things so much clearer for me and um it's been almost a year now, and um, I had finished the Quran. Um, um, I had bought the translation portion of it, and while driving, I'll listen to it um, in Arabic. I did enroll myself in learning Arabic because I actually want to learn um, it one day, inshallah. Um, but I'm doing really good, I think, um, and I enjoy it, <laughs> which is nice. Um, but I'm really excited to be here. Uh, thank, thank you for sharing that. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I pray that your, um, that your journey continues to be filled with just blessings and this relationship and this nearness to, to, to our Creator, to your Creator, to our Creator. Um, when I think about this um, shahada, there's there's a, a, a few things that we have to I have to ask you, and the first and foremost is that that this is by your own volition, right? There's no one that is kind of making you do this, or you're being forced into do it, and something like that. So we ask this because in the Quran we have la ikraha fi deen. There's no compulsion in religion. There's no compulsion to force someone to to convert. So we ask the person: Is this through your own volition? Is this through your own personal choice? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, so uh, with that, um, for everyone that is here, uh, one of the scholars that I was with, uh, actually it was Dr. Samer, who comes here quite often when we were in Damascus when we were students, he would recite the verse of Quran, Ya Yudhina Aminu, Aminu, he would say, O you who believe, believe. And the question is ironic, right? If you're a believer, uh, then, then, then how do you believe? All right, if you owe oh, you who believe, believe. Um, but the Quran, what we say is that O oh, you who believe, jadidu imanakum, renew your iman. O oh, you who believe, renew your faith. 
and the renewal of faith is through La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So inshallah ta'ala as we recite as our sister recites her shahada that inshallah we can recite with her. Um, we'll recite once in Arabic and then we'll recite uh, three times um, in English. Okay, so once in Arabic, we'll recite once in Arabic, and you can repeat um, after me, inshallah ta'ala. And then uh, after that, um, we will recite uh, three times in English. And at that point, uh, that is required for a person uh, entering into the fold of Islam. So the first time with the Arabic will be sufficient, but we also include the English to ensure that a person knows what they're saying. Okay? So, um, is there... Any of the males that have a scarf, a shawl, or something. So, Sister Grace, one of the things that we've read in the Sira is that when a, the Prophet was uh, would interact, or he would give a shahada or something of that with the opposite gender, as not to uh, engage in in, uh, in in touch with them, that he would either he would give them something of a natural material of his shawl or of a staff, his stick, or there's also narrations that they would put their hands in water in a vessel that was large. So if you'd like, inshallah, you can hold on to the end of that in emulation of a prophetic uh, 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 sunnah uh, uh, of this. So inshallah ta'ala, with that, you can repeat after me, inshallah ta'ala. We can repeat, inshallah. Um, Ashhadu Ashhadu An An La La Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Ilaha Wa Ashhadu Wa Ashhadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Rasuluhu We we'll say it again Ashhadu Ashhadu An An La La Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Ilaha Illallah Ilaha Wa Ashhadu Wa Ashhadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Rasuluhu I bear witness I bear witness that there is no god that there is no god except Allah except Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that Muhammad that Muhammad is his messenger is his messenger and servant and servant I bear witness I bear witness there is no god there is no god but Allah but Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that Muhammad that Muhammad is his messenger is his messenger and servant and servant I bear witness. I bear witness. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is his messenger. Is his messenger. And servant. And servant. Takbir. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Sister Grace, the um, you know, as as I will just give you some advice similar to those that shared advice with me when I became Muslim and saying that this is a marathon. It's a marathon of life. And there'll be many, there'll be much advice, there will be much well-intended advice, but one um, should feel that they will go at a pace in which they can maintain. Um, when Aisha, the Prophet Wasallam's wife, the daughter of Abu Bakr, radiallahu anhu, she asked the Prophet Islam, uh, which action is most beloved to Allah? He said, that which is uh, done frequently, even if it is small, because there's nothing that is small with Allah. So our, our intention is that we have what's called istiqamah, that we have a consistency in our actions, and you are here, and I see that uh, our sister is with you, there are others that are close to you. One of the other most important things that the Prophet Islam has told us, he said, um, to choose wisely who your companions are. And so may Allah keep you in the company of people who are righteous, people who are striving for the best um, in this world and in the next, who are striving to be near to Allah uh, and are always encouraging, encouraging a good um, you know, for all of humanity. So yes, you are very welcome. And you know, may Allah... As I said, continue to bless your journey, uh, bless you and all that you love and care about in this world. 
and make it easy for you in this world and in the next. And alhamdulillah, we welcome you, Sister Grace. Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah. Yes, alhamdulillah. So as we heard, uh, it's, it's a journey. Um, it's a long marathon, not a sprint, so you're going to pace yourself. And what we have here in the New Muslim Box is what uh, we feel that you might need to hit the ground running, inshallah. So it's a little gift from our congregation to you, inshallah. And uh, your, your prayers are very special right now because all of us, we all have something we have to answer for. But you, um, I can just tell from your beautiful presence that you don't have a lot of sin, but whatever was there has been cleaned. So it's like the day you were born and uh, very beautiful. So please pray for every single one of us here because your prayers are very special. Go very direct. Jazakallah khair. Sisters, if you want to welcome Sister Grace, Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much.